So on traditional stocks, generally you do a cheek weld because you didn't have an adjustable cheek piece. Nowadays, we actually have adjustable cheek pieces on most guns, allowing you to make sure that your face is interacting with your buttstock as comfortably as possible. When you're trying to figure out what exactly this means for you, it just comes down to getting out to the range and kind of playing with the setup you have and where you feel most comfortable and where you have the most repeatability. You want to make sure that you have a, a perfect reference point, say on your cheekbone or on your jawbone for what we call chin weld. Generally, I like to shoot a bit of a chin weld, a higher chin weld. We're not actually putting it literally on our chin, we're just putting it on our jawbone. That allows my head to be a little bit straighter, a little more comfortable for barricade shooting that we're usually doing in PRS. Generally, when you are shooting prone, you're probably gonna be running a little bit lower scope ring. So a cheek weld's probably gonna make more sense for you there. Uh, and then again, on hunting stuff, that really comes down to what's feeling best for you for that setup and how that stock is built. You know, maybe if you have a Monte Carlo, you can run a little bit higher ring and get a nice chin weld. But for the most part, you're probably gonna run a cheek weld with fairly low rings to keep the weight down on that.